We can improve the organisation of our SAS files by taking advantage of a feature that allows us to split multiple styles across multiple files and then import them. This import happens at design and compile time so we don't have to go and modify our HTML to make multiple CSS requests from the server. We're still only making one request for a single CSS file. So if we look at our SAS file here we could go and split out all of the variables here into a separate SAS file and also all of our mixins into a separate SAS file. So let's go and do this. So the first thing is we only have this main styles.scss file here and if we look in our markup we can see that we're just referencing this single styles.css. So let's go and create a new SAS file to hold all of our variables. So we'll just go here and choose add new item and we'll head down to our SAS style sheet and we're going to call this underscore variables and when we apply this underscore to the start of our file name it will tell SAS that we don't want to actually compile this into a separate standalone CSS file so we won't get an underscore variables dot CSS file generated. So let's go ahead and add that and we'll go to our original styles SAS file here and we'll go and cut away all of these variables and we'll paste them into our variables file here. So if I save this now and we head over to our solution explorer notice that we don't get a CSS file generated for our underscore variables file. If we head back to our main styles SAS file here if we try and save this now to compile it we'll get an error because it can't find any of our variables. So we have to go and include our variable SAS file now in this main SAS file. To do this we use the import directive. And now we can specify the SAS file to import. So let's choose our variables SCSS file. And if we save this now we don't get any errors and that's because it's imported all of the variables from this underscore variables dot scss file. If we look at the output from our styles file we can see that we've got all of our variables here so we've still got our font sizes and our colors and these are coming from this separate standalone SAS file. So let's head back to our main styles file here and let's go and move all of these mixins to their own file as well. Again create a new item and we'll call this again starting with an underscore mixins and again we'll go and cut away all of the mixins and paste them into this new file and we'll go and import this new file now again using the import directive this time we'll choose our mixins file and again if we save this we get an error because we haven't saved our mixins file here and if we have a look at our generated CSS now we can see that everything is as expected and if we run this now we get our website displayed as expected using the variables and mixins even though they're now coming from individual files. So we can use any organization strategy that we want and we can call our CSS files anything we want as long as we start with an underscore. So for example we could go and import a separate file that just contains the core branding colors variables and then we could have an additional colors file which represents colors that are used specific to the individual application. And we'll see later in this course how we can move beyond this technique and actually share these partial files between multiple web applications. So in this way we can define our branding colors once and then have them available to all of the applications we develop.